All right, what's going on, guys? Moxification here. So today, I'm gonna do the Q and A now for 9K, and it's it's pretty sick. So I guess I guess we'll get into it. And uh, yeah, so uh, this is the video. So 9K Q and A. You know, this is the video right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start from the top, make my way all the way uh, all the way down to the bottom. Uh, they show more. I didn't expect that. There you go. And there's yeah, there's a good few questions. There's there's a good few questions about you know regular questions, and then there's also questions about JTAG stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll try go over all of them. I guess. And uh, yeah, so how are people uh, how are people hosting PS4 BO3 mods? Um, I don't think there's mods out for PS4. I guess they're just I guess they're just glitches. I mean, Elliot said um, you can't mod on PS4, and it's a duplication glitch which he can do. So I guess it is just a glitch, and I don't know. I, I I have no clue. I don't really play PS4. I've got one, but I don't play it at all. I've only ever turned it on and made an account. You know, I haven't actually played it yet. But uh, yeah, will I mod on other platforms and different games? Um, as far as other platforms, probably not until some sort of method or some sort of um, exploit comes out to mod them. Um, and different games. I do try to mod different games. I've been playing Forza. Horizon recently, and there's mods on there. A Forza Horizon's a pretty sick game. I like drifting on it. Actually, it's a pretty, a pretty sick game. But uh, yeah, different games. I mean, if there's a different games that there's good mods on, then I definitely, you know, I definitely mod on different games. It's definitely a thing that I'm looking, you know, looking to do in the future. Um, favorite feeder, um, which is right here. Um, I don't have one. I really don't. I don't really, you know, I don't really watch feed stuff. I don't really watch. Um, trick shot stuff. I mean, maybe. Um, nah, I don't have one. I really don't have one. I'm, yeah, I don't really have one. But uh, yeah, um, can I make a tutorial on how to JTAG your Xbox for free? Uh, no, I can't because it doesn't exist. Uh, it can't be done. Uh, next is how do you install MW3 mod menu? Um, or oh, someone replied, yeah, All right, yeah, someone replied. Uh, they recommend Xenium. So, how to install MW3 mod menu? Um, all you'd need is a DLL. So, well, it doesn't have to be a DLL, but all you'd need is the. You just have to find one, you know? I mean, there's not really a specific setup tutorial, you know? It's just you, you get one, and the, whoever you're getting it from will tell you how to do it, you know? I guess if it's a DLL, then you'd put it on the MW2, uh, MW3 game, and then you'd launch it, and then you'd have it. And then if you had. Um, if it was a, a plugin, then you just set it as a plugin and go on MW3, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, can you hack on next gen console? Um, kind of like the first question. No, because there's nothing out yet. Nothing really exists. I mean, a, a while ago, the PS4 something happened on a PS4. There's a Twitter account that I follow, and it's um, it's a guy who had something to do with the PS3 jailbreak, and he keeps tweeting out stuff about how he's worked out how to do something and you know something might be good it might be good for modding and stuff and he, t he talks about these like modding stuff you know like, I don't know what it means because it's PS4 stuff but I mean people are working on it definitely you know same with the Xbox One people are working on modding the consoles people are working on making like an exploit for them and I guess if something comes out something will come out um, the guys over at uh, Executor I think that's what the I, I think there's a way of pronouncing it, a way of saying it, but it's it's basically executor, and uh, they're gonna you know they they've been they've been doing stuff you know they made the RGH uh, RGH chip for the 360, so I guess they're gonna be working on something for the uh, Xbox One, uh, maybe even a PS4. Um, next is what's my favorite terminal triple headshot? The the these questions about the feed in uh, the feed in stuff is just people asking random questions that I really don't really care about like uh my favorite terminal triple headshot is so specific um I don't have one I don't even know I have no clue um I don't really I can't think of one nothing comes to mind when you say that um next is how long have you been doing YouTube for um what server do you prefer Xbox Live Ninja or Infernus and I personally prefer XP on Ninja, but yeah. So, first question was how long YouTube? Um, I made this YouTube channel in 2014. I think it was April 2014. 
I think it was the 14th of April actually. I just want to check that. I just want to make sure that I got that right. Because you can actually, you can go to the about page. Hang on. Uh, about, there you go. Uh, yeah. Oh no, 18th of April. There you go. 18th of April 2014. But I, I mean, I was pretty close. Only four days off. But before that, I did actually have another channel. And before that, I did have another one. And uh, it, it's quite a, it's quite a long story, but I just I'd cut it down. So my first channel I made a very long time ago, um, many many years ago, and it got taken. I had 300 subs, and it got taken. And the guy deleted it, and he told me we was talking on Skype. And he told me my password over Skype, and it was the worst thing ever. I was so angry, so sad. Honestly, it was the worst thing ever, and that was like uh, I'm not sure how long ago, but it was a very, very long time ago. Um, you know, many, many years ago. Um, so that was there, and then I got another channel after that, and that one, same sort of thing happened. I mean, the guy didn't tell me it over Skype. He just, he just deleted it. You know, like that was the same. The next thing, uh, I think the next channel I had after that got closed but it wasn't because you know someone closed it i think it just it got closed somehow um and then yeah so then i'm on this channel i have had other channels in between so i don't know i've been on youtube for a while you know like making videos and stuff but uh, i've had different names different aliases you know and uh yeah and this is easily the biggest channel i've had and this is the one that i want to stay on um, so yeah, so what server do I prefer, XPO Ninja or Infernus? So I did make a video on this a while ago, I said um, I made a video on KVs, servers and something else, I forgot what it was, and it was basically, it gave the top four, maybe even top three servers that are out right now, and it was Ninja number one, Infernus number two, um, Alpha number th uh, three, and number four was Conroy. Now, number one ninja because you know kv life obviously and the other stuff they have like the like xc cheat type stuff you know that type of thing i think it's called ninja cheats or something but uh yeah so you know that's pretty sick next one is infernus because infernus has basically the same uh, as ninja if not better you know kv life um number four no number three sorry that was number two number three alpha because they have a mod menu and the kv life is good as well and i did do number four but apparently Conroy servers are not that good. I've I've heard that they're not that good. I thought they were good because I'd heard good stuff before, but now I've heard that they're not that good. They're kind of like offline files. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, so probably in Ninja number one, Infernus number two. You know, just because purely because of the KV life. The KV life is insane on Infernus. KV life is insane on Ninja. You know. Um. So yeah. So next one, Phase Rain or Hulk Hogan. Um. I don't know who Hulk Ho Hogan is. I said that really weird. Hulk Hogan. I don't know who he is. I, I guess he's like a, a boxer or a wrestler. I don't know. I have no clue. But uh, I guess because I don't know who he is, it'd have to be Phase Rain. I guess. I don't know. Um, Phase Reveal. Already done one. Did one about. I did one for 5k. Um, I think I. Hang on. I think I. Someone, someone commented this up here. Uh, I think I deleted the comment. But um, there was a comment and it, it said, you know. Um, the same thing, and I, you know, I just uh, I pasted the link to it. So if you want to see it, just look up Moxa 5K, and it will come up. Or 5K IRL video. That's what it is. That's what it's called. 5K IRL video. But yeah, if you look up Moxa 5K, it will come up straight away. Um, so yeah. So am I ever gonna play legit? I mean, I do all the time. I I play legit a lot. You know, like, even when even when I'm on my JTAG, I play legit most of the time, you know. If I'm on MW2, playing legit. If I'm on COD4, playing legit. You know, I go online on my JTAG just to play legit, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, I'll be changing my gamer tag every now and then and doing stuff like that. And joining parties, you know, doing XUID stuff. But other than that, um, yeah, I, I do play legit, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh... Oh, Megal Sesh. Um, no, I don't know. No. Um, right. Do I love you? Do you have a GF? What's your favorite card? Optical phase. Uh, do you support Fish Me Daddy and Jeb's videos? Um, so, yes, no, MW2, or Optic for. Optic? Yeah, probably Optic then. And uh, do you support Fish Me Daddy? No. Um, it's not really a thing. I don't really care for it. And uh, yeah, no. 
So, oh, this guy, this this Blaitaki, he always, he, every time I see him, he always says, do you remember me? And yes, obviously I remember him. Um, he always says it, not just like now, like he'll send me messages on Xbox saying, do you remember me? Yes, I remember you. Um, yeah, next is, how long have you been modding? And how long are you still going to mod? How long am I still going to mod? I don't think that makes sense. Maybe it does. I'm not sure. Um, how long have I been modding? Um, a long time. Um, I'm not sure. I can't give you numbers. I can't give you years. But it's been a long time. You know, I first got into modding when... Hang on. I first got into modding on the blue dashboard, I think. Hang on. It, I first got into modding when you could do gamertag changing with a USB on MW2. So... Yeah, however long ago that was, that's when it was. That's when I first got into modding. If anyone can, p can put a date on that when that first came out, that's when. Um, so yeah, um, next is uh, one more thing for 100k. That's insane. I don't think I'd ever get there. I don't think that's ever going to be a thing. I doubt it'll ever be a thing. I'm not even on 10k yet, so I guess I'm not going to get there. So I don't know. I have no clue. Um, who inspired me to mod and do YouTube videos? Um, to mod, um, I wouldn't say I was inspired to mod, I'd say um, the first person who got me into modding is a friend who I know in real life right now, um, I don't really speak to him much, I only speak to him on Xbox now because he moved away, but he first got me into modding, same thing, gamer tag changing on MW2, um, I met him, he was like a mutual friend, and he was like, uh, I didn't know him, I knew him through a friend, you know, it was a friend of a friend, and I met him, and he was like, you know, he was a sick guy, you know, and he just, he, he did these mods with the name, all, all I had to do was I went around his house with a, with my gamer tag on a USB, and then, you know, he'd plug it into his computer, do some whiz kid stuff, and then, you know, I'd go home, and plug it into my Xbox, and I had like these, I could do like, random gamer tag stuff it, it was really cool you know it was like what you could do now but it wasn't like real time you know you could and the method was you'd sign into the your your uh the modded gamer tag that you know he made then you'd go on xbox live you click on xbox live and then it'd say you have to sign into a different gamer tag because that one doesn't have gold or something and then you'd sign into the your actual gamer tag and then it would be modded online it was so sick so cool how it worked but you know, yeah, that's that's uh, how that happened. Uh, and who? Oh, and do YouTube videos? Um, I don't know. I've always liked the idea of doing the YouTube videos. It's pretty fun. You know, it's pretty sick. Um, I guess I first got into the YouTube when trick shotting was good. Like when I say trick shotting was good, I mean people still trick shot now. But like, what I mean by that is when it was like phase two thousand and like eleven. You know. So it was pretty, everyone wanted to record and do like trick shots and stuff. So I, I guess it was probably just trick shots and sniper stuff. That was probably when I started doing YouTube videos. Um, if someone donate, uh, donate, oh, I said that so dumb. Um, if someone donated a jailbroken PS4, a PS3, sorry, would I do videos on that? Um, I mean, if people wanted me to do videos on PS3, I'd totally do it. Um... I don't have one, but I guess I could buy one, you know, I mean, it doesn't, uh, I guess you can get them pretty cheap, you know, um, I'd you'd probably get them on eBay, I don't know, I'm not sure, but I mean, yeah, I probably would, I guess, possibly, um, if people wanted me to do that, I'd have to learn it first anyway, I, I have no clue about PS3 stuff, um, next thing, uh, what's the best multi-core RTM tool, um, hmm, Multicod, maybe that would probably have to be. Ah, uh, all right, all right, all right. Hmm. Paid. I'm. I'm gonna give you a paid one, and I'm gonna give you a free one. So, all right, paid one was a tool. It doesn't really exist right now. It's still being worked on, but it doesn't really exist right now. It was called JTAG Toolbox, and it was easily the best tool that ever existed on any COD. Like, it was like the beastiest program there ever was. I've actually got it right now. It's uh, it's right here, and it's the guy, he, he stopped working on it. If you go back to my old videos from like 2014, you will see videos on JTAG Toolbox, and they are the most, it's the most bibliographical tool there ever was, honestly. If you look at the videos, you'll like it. And it was it was cheaper than 
the oh what's the program called apparition net cheaper than apparition net and it was better than apparition net 100 percent and it was really really good and the guy it broke and he stopped working on it and just recently like um we could say like a couple of months ago he came back and he started working on it again and it's really good now it's not anywhere near as good as it was but it's gonna be good you know, he keeps working on it, keeps updating it. It's really good. Uh, I would show it to you, but I've been told that, you know, because it's in beta stages, I'm not meant to be showing it, you know. But I'll definitely make a video on it when it's when it's ready. 100%. Don't worry about it. It's really good. Free tools. Um, probably, uh, I personally don't use it because, you know, I use this JTAG toolbox. I also use a program called, uh, where is it? I think it's called, like, XDK. Um, it's called the... X the hang on let me find it. It's called yeah it's called Project uh, Project XDK or Pro uh, Project XDRPC tool. That's what it's called. That's good as well. That's a paid one. Free one, I guess I'd have to say. Um, um, I don't know. I really don't. There's not really that many good ones. There's there's really not that many good ones. Maybe some stuff by the Xbox 360 is best. That guy. I mean, he makes some good stuff, but any program that he makes it always comes up as a virus so maybe he's a bit dodgy i'm not sure but you know that's that's for you to work out you know um I, i'm not sure about his stuff but uh yeah so finally phase optic already said that i did say optic but for different things so optic are good with like real life stuff and obviously their competitive side i think you know optic are like really good with their you know their vlogs and their um I don't know, they, they're just good with, like, being... They, they're different, you know, they're different. Phase and Optic are different. And so I like Optic and I like Phase. Phase is good for... Hmm... Phase is good for certain things. I do watch Phase, I do watch Optic, but not, like, the clan channels. I watch the personal channels. You know, like, for example, Nade Shot or Rain or... Um, you know, that type of thing. You know, like, different people. But, uh... Yeah, so I'd say probably optic for vlogs and phase for gameplay. Well, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So, uh, yeah, so I know this wasn't probably, this probably wasn't very entertaining. Probably wasn't the greatest thing in the world. Um, but it's just how it is, you know, it's just how, it's just how it is. But, yeah, so hopefully at 10k, if I ever get there, I'll do the JTAG pack. That's that's the idea, and I, I am probably going to start working on that soon, you know, because I need to have it ready, you know, and uploaded and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, yeah, goodbye.